Mr. Sensenbrenner suggested that there's some scientific fascism, and that's a quote. Is there any evidence of fascism in the NASA organization, of scientific fascism associated with this? I'm not even sure exactly what that term would mean, but I, I don't, uh, I'm not aware of any uh, cabals, conspiracies, uh, misbehavior in uh, the characterization and use of data in NASA or NOAA. Well, I tell you, it, it's troublesome to me, the people who put the men on the moon, the people who discovered water on, on the moon, the people who are doing great research, figuring out how the oceans are becoming acidic, some of whom are my constituents, it's disturbing to me that people would come to, to this chamber and call them fascists. I got to tell you, I got a problem with that. I don't think that's right. These men and women are doing the best they can to provide us data and conclusions to the best of their ability. And they, through their professional work, have reached a very, very strong consensus on these scientific issues who are working for Uncle Sam. And I think it's wrong to say that about them. And there's a little emotion in my voice because I've seen in my neighborhood what this phenomenon is doing. I'd like to be able to catch salmon and my grandkids who celebrated his first birthday Sunday, to catch salmon that live on pteropods maybe 50 or 60 years from now. And when people watch what I watched and say that this is just big, a big scientific fascist conspiracy that are ginning this stuff up, I got a problem with that. And I'll define what I mean by scientific fascism. These emails trash the scientific conclusions by those who have disputed Dr. Mann's hockey stick theory. There are information in the emails that the publication Climate Research in which they were published ought to be boycotted because they weren't doing the politically correct thing. And I understand that the editor of Climate Research ended up getting fired as a result. Now, there is intimidation in the scientific community by people who wish to be contrary to what the conventional wisdom is. And we are being asked as a Congress to make major changes in American society, in energy use, and in how much the out-of-pocket cost is to every person in this country uh, as a result of this debate. And we in Congress better get it right. The scientists may be able to change their story and do more research on it, but once Congress passes a law, it will be as difficult to repeal the consequences of that law as putting milk back into the cow. And we know all about cows in Wisconsin. 